Welcome back guys, it's Eld here from Not So Serious Gaming. Today I'll be showing you the full easter egg to Liberty Bulls. Fools, fools, Liberty Fools. Step 1. Open up all the way to the church and interact with the machine on the right hand side. This will despawn the zombies and Panos will appear. He's kind of like Thanos, but he can only make the zombies disappear. After his grand speech, interact with the machine one more time and patch him into your signal. Step 2. Now you need to pick up the water valve that's just outside the flower shop. This can be found just down the road from Speed Cola. Once you have this, make your way to the bowling alley and melee this panel on the wall. Once you've done so, you can insert the valve. However, be careful. When connecting the valve, this will trigger infinite zombies. And you will have to complete this step to stop it. You'll see a progress bar on the left hand side to indicate how long you have left. The best way to do this, especially when solo, is to just start it and then run off, hoard up the zombies in the courtyard area out here and then run back and continue holding down the button. Once this is complete, the zombies will despawn and the water pressure gauge will be on the floor for the taking. So take it! Step 3. Head towards the cemetery and you'll need to kill a zombie named Groundskeeper, which will spawn in randomly. It will take about a couple of minutes while you're standing and holding in this area. When you see his name, let him have it and collect the tool shed key that he drops. Step 4. Make your way past Speed Cola and the flower shop and head up the staircase just here. In the far right hand side you'll see a doorway for the shed, just open this with the key you collected and inside will be the handbrake for the jet gun. Step 5. You will now need to get your grubby mitts on a mangler cannon, which can be crafted for 1250 salvage from a workbench. Or, from round 10 and onwards, manglers will start spawning in and if you shoot at their cannon on their arm and destroy it, you'll be able to pick up the cannon itself from their dead body. Now you have the cannon, head over to Ollie's Comics, opposite that you'll see an electrical store called the Radio House which you will now need to blow the doors open using the mangler cannon that you just acquired. Once you've done this, interact with the piles on the floor to find some wires. Step 6. Now you have all three jet gun parts, you'll now need to head over to the secret room in the hotel in the spawn area. Head up the staircase and walk over to this door and you'll see the zombies burst their way through it. Take care of them and then head inside and craft the jet gun, allowing you to complete the next part of the easter egg, where you must use it to collect three parts for the LTG. Part 1. Head inside the church and to the left hand side to where Panos had his grand speech, you can suck up the hat just here. Part 2. Head onto the roof of Speed Cola and jump onto this white van. Aim just above the window here, give it a good suck and the part will come flying at you. Part 3. Head over to Ollie's comic book store and just in the ceiling vents just here, you can suck up the final part. Now you need to craft the LTG, which can only be done on a specific workbench. To get here, head onto the building that has speed color on it, head across the zip line and head over to the left hand side just here, and you can craft it here. Step 7. Now we need to interact with the storms around the map. Using the LTG, you need to place it at the base of each of the storms. When you've placed it under the first one, it will trigger a 1 minute timer and you must protect it until the time runs out. If you fail, you just have to wait till the next round and try again. Once complete, a named special zombie will spawn in and you have to do what you can to take his health down so it's almost dead, but not quite dead. This is because you do not want to fully kill the specialised zombie. Instead, just weaken it so it's got very low HP. Then head all the way to the church and collect the canister from the machine that you've been interacting with. You will need to head to one of two locations, either to Speed Cola or the spawn area and place it on one of these little pads just here. Now you've placed the canister on the little pad, you'll need to interact with the Dark Aether Generator. This will capture the beast, as yes, they had to bring in another Pokemon step once again. Once he's captured, you'll have 1 minute 30 to return it back to the machine in the church. Wait for Panos to finish talking and then head back to the machine and collect the Strauss counter. Using the Strauss counter, you now need to interact with the three projectors around the map. When standing next to each one, the counter will display a colour. If it's red, turn the light on the white projector green. If it's green, turn it red. And if it's yellow, turn it yellow. There's one just on the way to the bowling arena, just here. One is just behind the roof of the bank. You need to purchase this door on the roof and drop down to get to it here. And the final one's just over by the shed where you got the handbrake from, just over here. Now head to whichever storm you completed and pick up the LTG and then go place it at the base of the other storm. This will spawn in an abomination. Once again, you have to weaken it but this time you'll have to grab the canister from the spawn area when it's at low HP. However, be warned, as I had the technical issue happen to me a few times, and by a few I mean way too many than I like to admit. During this final part of the step, the special zombie would just despawn on the way to this area and this text glitch would appear. Do not be a fool like me and quit your game when this happens. 
as you can actually start it one final time and try again. If successful, head up and start the boss battle. Honestly, I had this happen to me multiple times in a row, and sadly it delayed me getting this guide out drastically, so I do apologise to those who waited for me. And for those who actually still watch this, even though you probably have watched all the other guides, so thank you so much you freaking legends. This can also be done at either point both times, you don't have to switch between each one. Activate the generator, capture it, and then once again you'll have a minute 30 to bring the canister back to the church. Now we're pretty much done and ready for the boss fight. Boss fight? This isn't really a boss fight, but more of a wave encounter where you're stuck in a small area. So make sure you're papped and ready, and maybe have a few rockets stuffed out your bum, or a mutant injection. Interact with this machine once again for the final encounter. This is where you have to fight through three different waves. One wave will just have normal zombies and manglers. Wave 2 will have hyped up zombies on crack and elite manglers. And wave 3 will consist of normal zombies, elite manglers and elite abominations. Once you have completed it, you will all go down and you'll get this cutscene. Now you have the option to continue or to end the game. If you choose to continue, you'll be rewarded with a ray gun camo. Ooh! I really hope you have enjoyed this easter egg and I'll be having the easter egg for Terminus coming out very soon. And also some side easter eggs. I also finished a video recently on how you can play Call of Duty Zombies for free in many different ways. I have chosen to delay this video due to Black Ops 6 releasing, but if you want to see it sooner than later, let me know and I'll get it released ASAP. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. It means I can reward myself with a cookie. You guys have been amazing, where I've just been Elwood from Not So Serious Gaming. Hope you have a great morning, evening, night, whatever time of day is. I hope you have a great one. Peace out. What the f*** was that?